Hi, I'm Poppy. I wasn't sitting down yet. I'm hey, still scooching. I was ready. I got the energy. No. Hi, I'm Poppy Fairbairn. And I'm Zion Martin. And we specialize in point adagio. I kinda like you. We've been working together for about five and a half years now. So we went through a whole lot of years of circus school together and now we've been performing all over Australia. So we met at circus school in Melbourne um, and it was there that we decided to start working towards the act that is Point Adagio. I came from a ballet background, Zion came from a circus background. So we thought that this would be a perfect, perfect pairing for us. The thing that makes point on head so difficult is that we don't know anyone who knows how to do it. The first thing we tried was just a piece of scrap leather, which made me look a bit like a pirate. <laughs> and okay. we would stand two point on that, so one lo shoe locked up against the other shoe at the back like that. Because, we, yeah, we spoke to one coach who had done a version of um, point on head on tight wire like years and years ago in mm -hmm. Russia. and. She used the technique with two feet, so we tried that out, and because it's just a thin piece of leather covering his head, we'd notice he would start to get dents in his head, the, mm. the exact same shape as my point shoes. So we, we moved on from that because we thought that, okay, let's make a mini stage. Let's make a little mini stage for you to wear on your head and I'll dance on that. And we did, and it, it, did. it worked fine actually. Only problem is, it looked as ridiculous as it sounds. Exactly. It was yeah. terrible. It was a bit too big. Mm. So, back to the drawing board. What we did when we were first learning this one is we tried so many different ways to make the mold flush with the shoe. It took so many tries. We tried a lot of different things. A lot of people recommended things. None of them worked. We had a coach who has is Chinese and has a lot of contacts in China and she got us shipped over a rotating donut. So this one was fully made out of metal, um, rotated in one direction only and we tried using that and we got some turns. This was very difficult, the turn was like a whole nother skill to battle. Um, and eventually we realized, all right, we're going to have to learn this static before we can learn the turn. And that was just a whole nother kettle of fish. The issue we found with the rotating point on head donut was that the one we got is significantly taller than the one that they use in the Chinese axe. So usually when they do it, it's very short and it's in here, but the one we got was way too tall and that creates a lot more movement. So until we can find out how to make it small like that, we just sort of, we'll put point turning on the back burner and just focus on doing point on head.
finally got point on head. We did it. We performed it in showcase. It didn't go very well in a dress rehearsal. But in the actual show, we did it. It was great. And then the donut fell off my head. Yeah. And it broke. And it smashed. And we realized that we can't use this thing that had been made for us. It was too fragile. So that's when we decided we got to make something more sturdy. Back to the drawing board again. But we did. We, we pulled it off. We made a much more sturdy, smaller, compact sized donut. The problem was we then had to relearn the skill. So we took a bit of time off it. We took a bit of time off it. We, we couldn't. We, we tried it. It was like all of our hard training had just been thrown out of the window. And we were like, look, let's, let's take a break from this mm. skill. Let's. You know, is it really, is it really worth it? So we toured, we performed, we didn't really think about point on head. We did a lot of point on shoulder, a lot of other skills. And then we decided to go back to it. And oh my, it was a lot of training. We and got obsessed. Yeah, we got obsessed. And then something very unexpected happened. We got put into quarantine, like everyone did. Our show got cancelled. We had all the free time in the world. And we said to each other, now's a good time to get better at point on head. We need more space for this. Oh yeah. So we moved here. So here we are. And we got out in the yard. And we remembered that it's quite scary doing point on head standing up. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is so very different to sitting on the floor. I there are a couple of sessions and no, no mats, nothing. Uncontrolled environment. So we were a little bit nervous and the first few were okay. And then they got better and then they got better. And then we got it. And now, it's there. When we put this in the show, when we go back, we're going to be the first Australians to ever perform this skill. So some words of wisdom that our coach would always say to us would be, 
make the impossible possible. And this phrase has really stuck with us for our whole training. Whenever we're feeling like it's too hard, we want to give up, there's no way that we could possibly achieve this. We just remember that's why we're doing it. That's the whole point. Hehehe. <laughs>